Let's investigate how we can edit MIDI notes in Live's note view and start by quickly orientating ourselves using this simple bass line. It's a bit messy, so we'll use Live's editing tools to clean it up. We can adjust the grid size via the menu in the top right and quantize the notes via the context menu or by pressing Command U on a Mac or Control U on Windows. By pressing K on my computer keyboard, I can highlight the notes of the clip scale and I can hide unnecessary notes by either toggling fold notes with F or fold scale with G. I'm going to nudge my bass line into key by using the fit to scale button from the pitch and time utilities tab. With no notes selected, this will nudge all of my notes into the clip's key. However, I could choose to fit a selection of notes to the scale. In this clip, I have a drum loop that I would like to work on. First, I'm going to draw one long note onto the hi-hat pad and then hit Command E on a Mac or Control E on Windows and slice the long note to the current grid setting. I can change the grid size and further slice some notes into smaller divisions to create some rolls. As well as slicing to the grid, we can divide a note into equal parts. I'm going to draw a long note on the snare pad and then hold down Option E on a Mac and drag up or down. On Windows, I'll hold down E and then Control. As you can see, when I drag, I slice the note. I can also manually slice notes or selections of notes by holding down E and clicking on the point that I wish to cut. I can also join notes together by selecting them and pressing Command J on a Mac or Control J on Windows. When selecting notes, either by clicking and dragging or by holding down shift and clicking on individual notes, you'll notice that handles appear at the beginning and end of the selection. I can drag these to the left and right to scale the selection, changing its length whilst maintaining the relative distances between the notes. This function snaps to the current grid and I can hold down Command on a Mac or Alt on Windows to disable snapping. When working with patterns, it can be useful to toggle between selections. After selecting a group of notes, I can press Command Shift A on a Mac or Control Shift A on Windows to select everything that isn't currently selected. I can repeat the keyboard shortcut to toggle between the two. Let's take my original bass line and copy it onto this synth track by holding down Option on a Mac or control on Windows and dragging and dropping the clip. I'm going to select notes and choose Fit Notes to Selected Time Range from the context menu. I could also use the shortcut Command Option J on a Mac or Control Alt J on Windows. As we can see, this stretches the beginning and end of every note to match the beginning and end of the whole selection. In this example, I've quickly created chords from the selected material. Double checking my grid is set to 16th notes. 
I'll hit Command E on a Mac or Control E on Windows to slice the notes to the grid. Now I'll select the first section and add some velocity randomization using the lanes at the bottom of the note view. Here I can set the range of the randomization using the slider, and if I wanted to, I could add deviation to the randomization using the slider on the far right. I'll do the same for the third section. Now I'll select the second section and program an upwards ramp to the velocity using the sliders in the velocity lane. I'll do the opposite in the fourth section, ramping the velocity downwards. I can select a note or group of notes and adjust their velocity holding Command on a Mac or Alt on Windows and using my keyboard's arrow keys. I can also hold down this key and drag up and down with my mouse or trackpad for quicker adjustments. Finally, I can type the desired velocity number and hit enter. Many functions in Ableton Live are both toggled and momentary using their shortcut key. Take for example B, which is used to toggle the pencil. If I press it once quickly, we can see that it toggles state. However, if I press and hold B, it becomes momentary and the pencil will be active until I let go of B. The same principle applies to many other shortcuts, such as S for solo or Z for zoom. Finally, when the computer MIDI keyboard is activated, either via its button or the shortcut key M, you can hold down Shift to temporarily disable the MIDI keyboard and access shortcut keys.